have our own way to making our strands look their best. Maybe it's coloring our hair with the change of the seasons, wrapping strands into the perfect top knot or taking the time to curl or straighten when you need a little boost. Each of these has two things in common. Both produce gorgeous results and both are habits that can make hair dry or damaged over time. Today's video will discuss hair marks for dry hair. Before you watch this video, please take a moment to subscribe our YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button, then tap the bell icon so you will be the first to know when you post new videos daily. When we notice the most common signs of dry hair, dandruff, frigginess, breakage, we tend to be interested in quick fix solutions. When we see splitting ends, we get a trim. When our scalps get dry and flaky, we pick up a scalp scrub. And apparently, when you are desperate for all over moisture, you should actually reach into your penetry because mayonnaise has loads of purported benefits. benefits. It obviously sounds strange to use mayonnaise on your hair, but the condiment is packed with beneficial ingredients for strata egg yolk. Egg yolks are loaded with amino acids which helps promote hair growth by way of collagen and protein. They also carry vitamin A, E and D, biotin, folate and fatty acids all of which are nourishing the hair with moisture and helping to stimulate new cell growth. And that's just egg yolks alone. Mayonnaise also contain vinegar. You have heard of vinegar rinse, right? It's a crucial element for our strands on its own. Vinegar effectively assists in balancing the scalp's pH level and controlling oil production. Add olive oil and lemon juice to the equations and it will have stronger, tighter follicles in no time. How to apply? Now that you have allocated your mayo jar from the freeze to the sour, you will want to get your strands weight before application. Scoop out the same amount of mayo as amount of sample you normally use. In terms of applications, think of it as a 2-in-1 sample and conditioner. Use it on the scalp the way you would massage in your shampoo, bringing it down to your ends the way you would work in your conditioner. Once fully coated, grab your sour cap and turn off the heat. Literally, heat will allow male's beneficial properties to better penetrate your hair. When to use? Once a month, once a week, how often should we actually be using a mask or treatment on our strands? Once a week tends to be the ideal frequency to apply mask and other nourishing treatment products, which if applied too frequently can weigh the hair down. Boil it down to your hair type. Start small if you are unsure. Thicker or higher texture strands tend to take to moisturizing treatment better. Similar to using a conditioner, you will quickly learn how much mayo is too much. If you do run into the problem, try using a clarifying sample or apple cider vinegar rinse to remove any excess. And don't wait until your hair is totally fried either. Take the initiative and watch out for signs and symptoms of dry hair before it's too late. If your hair is becoming abnormally fizzy, you are noticing breakage, or if you just caught your hair color last week, it's time to stay ahead of the curve. Dry hair can be difficult to style. Color can fade much faster and hair can look lifeless and dull without the sign of healthy moisturized hair. What do you think of this important information? Let me know in our comment section below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share with your friends. For more daily tips, subscribe to our channel below. Thank you.